All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Millionaire Money Minds After Dark. I'm kind of liking the way this little series is going. Uh, so please do make sure you hit a like, subscribe button for the algorithm. If anything I'm saying resonates with you in any type of way, or if you just find some type of enjoyment uh, out of the content, you know. Um, but today, I have a little video here that I wanted to go over. But before we get to that video, I want to talk about this here. I started another video. It's about a video I did the other day about a mother and son. The mother and son, uh, the mother who was attacked inside of a restaurant and ended up texting her 14-year-old son to come out, to come inside, which when he did, he ended up killing the a 32-year-old man and putting him on a t-shirt somewhere. Um, and uh, he's absolutely in the ground. But in that video, I said that uh, they had arrested the mom and the son and that they were going to be prosecuted for murder. Right. Well, since then, it's been a couple of days and the mom and son have been released. The charges have been dropped against the mother and son and the deadly West Pullman shooting um, where it showed, again, this man just viciously assaulting this woman. Something I don't condone or think that anybody should feel safe or comfortable with doing. So he is exactly where he belongs. Uh, and his his family can, you know, uh, put him on a shirt and talk about how great of a person he, he was when he was here. But I just wanted to make sure that I did address this. And let me say this, too. Although they were exoner uh, exonerated, although the charges were dropped, OK, I still think that my point still stands. It was dumb on everybody all the way around. As a mom, you don't put your son, your 14-year-old son, in that type of predicament and situation. Because although this turned out the way this way, where the charges were dropped, it could have completely gone the other way. I think we can all agree we've seen it go the other way. Right? They just lucked up this time. And the prosecutors dropped the charges. But we've absolutely seen this type of thing go the other way. And as a mom, I understand in the moment you were being assaulted. I understand in the moment you were probably, she was probably scared, frightened for her life. So I understand what she did. However, I can't excuse it because looking at it in hindsight, especially you put your 14 year old son's life, the rest of his life in jeopardy. I don't think that's, well, that was not a wise decision, no matter which way you look at it. Now, it turned out the way it did. You know, everybody landed, I guess, except my man. He landed somewhere else. And uh, but the mother and son have been uh, released and the charges have been dropped. Now, she's going taking this a step further. She got a lawyer and she's suing the city and the officers that arrested her, which, you know, the officers were just doing their job. This is why I don't pay. It does not pay to be a police officer. I, I told my son, I remember a long time ago. this was years ago. My my middle boy, I asked him what he wanted to do. He said he wanted to become a police officer, and I told him absolutely not. I told him to his face, absolutely not. Now, mind you, he was probably only about 10 years old, nine years old at the time. But I told him, absolutely, you will not become a police officer. Absolutely not. I don't condone, no, no. Now, why did I say that? I said that because... Being a police officer is probably one of the most thankless jobs that you could ever have. And it's one of the most dangerous jobs that you could ever have. Right. And in no way, shape or form, do I think what they get paid is enough for all of the shit that they have to deal with on a daily basis. I just don't think it's enough. I'm sorry. It's not enough money. And. This here is a prime example because these police officers are now being sued for doing their job, basically. They, they were just following orders, the letter of the law, right? They're following the letter of the law. They had to arrest this woman and her son. That's, 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 that's probably just in the handbook, right? So they're just following orders. And yet here you are, they're doing their job, and now they got to go to court. And because they're being sued. So it's a uh, police officers are one of the most thankless jobs that you could ever have. And I don't recommend anyone 
at least not my sons. My sons, none of my sons will be police officers. I guarantee you that. But I just wanted to talk this, talk about this and bring it up really quickly before we get into this next video, because I thought that it was uh, important. I do agree. I'm glad the charges were dropped. I'm glad her and her son are free and uh, that they will not be prosecuted. I do agree with the ruling and I was hoping that the charges would get dropped. However, it was still stupid on her part and uh, on all parties involved. It was just, you know, the, not the son. I don't blame the son, the 14-year-old son, because again, like I said, I'm a son, right, obviously. And if I was in that situation, my mom was being attacked, physically assaulted, I would have done the same thing. I would have put him down. So I don't blame the 14-year-old at all. He did exactly what I would expect any son to do in that situation, right? But I, I more so put the blame and place the blame on this, uh, the mother and the gentleman who lost his life. Because again, we don't know what the entire scene, we still don't know the details of what they were arguing about, how the argument started. You know, that right there, you standing there arguing with a grown man, you're putting yourself in all types of danger, right? As a, as a woman who was in there alone. So just stupidity on both of their sides. But the case is over, it's been dismissed. So I'm glad. Now let's get into this next video, okay? Because this this next video is really I saw this on Instagram and I just bro, I I just shook my head. I the only thing I could do was shake my head in disgust. Because the black community is really just fucking trash, yo. I the things that we uphold and uplift, the things that we support be a bunch of bullshit, y'all. It'd be a bunch of bullshit, okay? And I was having a conversation with my, with my uh, cousin last night, and we we talk a lot. We talk every almost every day, and we talk about all sorts of different types of things. And he was just saying how, he you know he was riding with his kids, taking his kids to school, and he's riding behind somebody, and somebody just takes a full bag from a restaurant they had, that they had just gotten from a fast food restaurant, and just threw the entire bag out of the window. Just threw the entire bag out the window on the ground. Like, that type of behavior, just small things like that really shows you the mindset of our goddamn community. Nobody gives a shit about nothing, right? He doesn't care. Like, nobody cares about anything. Now, I'm all for having your events and, you know, having fun and, you know, doing things amongst one another that are not harmful to the neighborhood, not harmful to one another. But this the, this type of behavior that right here that we're about to watch from the BET Awards was absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. For, for one, let's talk about the BET Awards for a moment. Because it is not a secret that the BET Awards have continued to gradually decline over the years, right? The bigger name celebrities and superstars have stopped coming long ago. And there's a reason for that. Now, Tyler Perry has just taken over the helm. And my boy, you got some work to do. You have got some work to do because this right here, this was a goddamn mess. This was trifling what I saw. And it's just disgusting, right? And I'm, I'm going I'm to play the video so you all can see exactly what it is that I mean and that I'm talking about. And you let me know if this would be the type of behavior that you would expect to see at a show that is supposed to be showcasing black excellence. Where's my Where's volume? volume? <laughs> now I believe that's cash now. Look at this. Look at this. First of all, what happened to us inviting stars that have it, that have achieved some form of greatness in their field? What happened to that? Why are we just inviting any old fucking body to the show? And just anybody can come. That the young lady bent over right there who was pregnant. Her name is Krishan Rock. What has she done? Other than be on a uh, on a show that that's like reality TV, nothing, 
Nothing. She hasn't accomplished anything other than fighting every episode on a reality TV show with her boyfriend and getting notoriety and fame from it. This is the type of shit that we uplift and uphold. This is the type of shit that we celebrate. And you can see it here. This was liked by over 400,000 people. Over 400,000 people like this bullshit and uplift this. It's cool to act this way. She's pregnant, twerking at an award show that's supposed to represent and showcase black excellence. Get the fuck out of here. Look at this shit. That was exciting, right? All right. Let's move on to some. Let's let's. There's another video here. That I want y'all to. I want you to pay attention to. That young lady right there. Her name. Her stage name is Sexy Red, and she has a. She has a song out right now that went viral, and in it, the lyrics that I'm not gonna say. You can look them up on your on your uh, on time and your leisure. But they're akin to very sexually explicit words. And you can see that these two gentlemen right here, these two gentlemen right here, these are two very important people that are sitting right here. I'm going to play the video so you can see the reaction. Look at him. He's looking like, what the hell is this? What is going on right now? Look at all the people... Look at all the people advocating for this. Everybody with their hands up. Because it's cool. It's lit. This looks like a fucking club. Is this the club or is this the BET Awards? She acting like she's doing a performance. Look at his face. Is that a face of somebody? Now that the person you're looking, that's Bobby Jones. Now I'm pretty sure that he was invited just out of respect for him being a previous owner to the platform. But now he's been invited. And then who would have him sit here? Who was it? Whoever was in charge of the seating needs to be absolutely fired. Because why is Bobby Jones sitting there with this chick right here who was basically just got popular yesterday, last week? Why is she dancing and rapping and twerking at a BET award show? Black culture is fucking trash, bro. It is trash. This shit right here is not cool. It's not funny. It's not it, none of that. It is trash. Absolute garbage. Ghetto. A bunch of goddamn hood rats. And I'm from, I'm from that. I come from that, the projects. But you will never catch me out here looking like this and supporting this type of bullshit. Why is it that we feel like we need to support this? Again, I told y'all four, over 400,000 people liked that previous post. Why is it that we feel like we got to represent the hood every single goddamn place we go? Everywhere you go, you got to take the hood with you. Where is the class? Where is the benevolence? Where is the excellence? We don't support we, we don't support showcasing that. We support this. And it's everywhere. Just like the young lady who uh, walked across the stage and grabbed the grabbed the mic Snatched the mic out of the white woman's hand, talking about she didn't get a chance to say her name. And then it comes out from another student, a black student at that, that she was lying. That's not what happened. Just ghetto, hood rat shit. And y'all get mad at Candace Owens for pointing this shit out. 
You can get mad at her all you want. So you can call her a coon. You can call her whatever. But she truthful. She's saying all this shit that y'all don't want to hear. But need to hear. I just don't understand why we can't escape this type of this type of mentality, this type of thought process to where we got to feel like we got to take the hood with us every single place you go. You got to showcase the hood and your fucking ignorance every everywhere you go. Then you look at the awards and you look at all the people that came to the awards. Most of the women there were half naked. Why is it we got to show skin Every single time and every single place. Listen, that is not for every place. You're not at the, again, are we at the club or are we at the BET Awards? A place that is supposed to be showcasing the greatness and excellence of black people. You get all these chicks coming in here, half dressed, body parts all over the place, skin all out. Everything is showing. Like, where is the class? Where is the class? I see why Beyonce won't be caught dead at this bullshit. I see why Jay-Z won't be caught dead at this bullshit. I see why certain other people, celebrities, black celebrities, won't be caught dead at this bullshit. Ain't no way in hell. Where is the class? All these people, all these women showing up, showing everything. Why? Y'all couldn't put on one elegant dress for one evening? Y'all half naked every other day on Instagram. Y'all couldn't put on one elegant dress for one evening? God damn. Come on, man. Do better, bro. Do better.